the boolean data type basically contains two types of two different types of values uh, which are nothing but true and false there is a built-in function in python which is called as bool so bool helps in casting any value to true and false let us try using bool on various types of values and check what will be the conversion look like so let's write something like bool of 1 so if we execute we see that the value is equal to true <coughs> so if we cast uh, the value 1 to bool the boolean value will be true so if we write bool of 100 which is also equal to true so let's try writing bool of minus 1 so this is also equal to true finally let's try writing bool of 0 <clears throat> if you can observe the boolean value of 0 is false so the value of all the numbers except 0 is true and only for 0 the boolean value is equal to false let's try this on a list which contains some elements so a list which has two elements 1 comma 2 let's see what will be the boolean value boolean equivalent of this list so the answer is true let's try writing bool of an empty list so the result is equal to false so the boolean value of empty list is false and the boolean value of the list which contains some value is some element is equal to true so what if we write something like bool of a list empty list but inside that we again have an empty list what do you think should be the result so if we execute we see that the value is equal to true so the boolean of a list which further contains an empty list is equal to true which basically if if there is any content inside of a list then the value of the the boolean equivalent of that list is true let's try the boolean of of an empty string so if we execute we see that the boolean of empty string is equal to false so what if we give some value inside a string like abc so this should be equal to true the boolean of an empty string is false and if the string contains some value it will be equal to true so what if we write boolean of an empty string but with a space let's execute and check it is equal to true so boolean of a string uh, which contains at least the space is also equal to true there are some built-in functions for strings which will output boolean values for example if we write str1 equal to 1 2 3 4 and there is some built-in function called as str1 dot is decimal this basically checks if the given string contains only decimal values so if we execute we get the answer as true because this given string contains only decimal or, or only numbers so let's try something else like str1 equal to a b c 1 2 3 so it contains both alphanumeric right it contains both characters and numbers so if we write letters and numbers so if we write str1 dot is alpha this basically is about checking whether the given string contains only alphabets 
so the answer is false because it also contains some numbers inside the string so if we write again str1 equal to abc and this time if we check alpha obviously the answer should be equal to true because it contains only alphabets so there are many there are actually many built-in functions for strings like these we will have a look at the we will have a look at them in the upcoming tutorial videos so next let's do boolean of none right so this is also equal to false now let's try converting the boolean values to integer and see what would be the values given to it as integers so what I'm trying to say is uh, if I convert typecast the boolean result to an entry integer what do you think would be the result <clears throat> so if we execute the result is equal to 1 so if we convert boolean value true to an integer value the value is will be equal to 1 so any guess if we convert false to integer it is equal to 0 so the integer value of true and false are 1 and 0 respectively so now let's try something like true plus 1 what do you think would be the result so if we execute the value will be equal to 2 because the value of true is equal to 1 so if we add 1 plus 1 it is equal to 2 so what if we do something like false multiplied by 50 <coughs> it is basically saying like 0 into 50 the value should be equal to 0 using the comparison type operators will actually produce boolean results so for example if we write result um, equal to 6 greater than 5 and if I try to print the value of result if I execute the value will, the result value will be equal to true so if you want to understand this in a better way we can ask question like is greater is is 6 greater than 5 so is 6 greater than 5 the answer is yes 6 actually is greater than 5 hence the result is true so let's try another one if we write result equal to 5 less than 3 and let's print the result so the value is equal to false it's because 5 is not less than 3 so let's try something like um, result equal to 2 in 1 2 3 4 5 and let's print the result so the answer should be true so it's just like asking whether 2 whether 2 is present in the list 1 2 3 4 5 the answer is yes 2 is present in this list hence the result is equal to true let's try another one let's try writing result equal to 3 not in 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 let's write print result <coughs> so what do you think the answer will be so here we are saying that 3 is not in the list 1 2 3 4 5 right we are saying that 3 is not in the list 1 2 3 4 5 is this true it's not because this is not true because 3 is actually in the list hence the result should be equal to false because what we, we what we said is wrong right so the result will be equal to false so let's try writing some if else conditions with comparison operators so I'll write if 5 is less than 6 I'll say print 5 is less than 6 
and inside s else I will write print 5 is not less than 6 so what will be the result the result will be 5 is less than 6 because it comes inside the if condition so let's write this again so instead of writing the expression let's directly write the boolean result right so ultimately this 5 less than 6 gives us the boolean result right so instead of writing this expression let's directly write if true I'll write print inside if okay and else I will write print so we'll see where the control is right if it is equal to true inside else so if we execute the answer will be inside if right so let's start changing let's just try changing true to false and see where the control goes I'll say if false print inside if else print inside else so if I execute this what do you think should be the result it should be inside else so if the expression evaluates to true so if the if the expression evaluates to true the control goes to the if condition okay and if the expression evaluates to false the control goes to else statement